Zach Wilson and the concentration from Brandon Johnson, but Veron McKinley the third had a chance for a big hit. Excuse me, that's Davis. Had a chance for a big hit. Jaden Davis and just completely whiffed on it. Didn't make a play at the ball, didn't make a play on the receiver. Good concentration though here to reel that one in. It almost looked like a practice where, where you're coming out the middle and you're breaking and you want to show the coach, I'm here and had this been a game situation, I'd have knocked his helmet off, right. but I'm not going to do that in practice. He puts his arm over top of Johnson, which allows him to catch the ball. Very just weird sequence of not going and making a hit right there. But to your point, good pitch and catch by Wilson and Johnson. You know, when Zach Wilson threw that ball, I'm just I'm visually tracking yes. the intersection. I'm like, all right, where is this going to? It looks like it's too close to the numbers. This is likely going to be incomplete. But there was no play on the ball. As you'll see there, Jaden Davis just, I, what's he doing? <laughs> oh. Tell you what, Sean Payton told us this, and it's true. The cuts that Denver has to make in their wide receiver room by Tuesday, it's a happy problem, but they've got guys that other teams are hoping that are gonna hit the wire, and they are. I mean, they, just, they have too many good players, and they're gonna have to let some go. And guys who have played, Will Jordan Humphrey played yes. a lot last year. We haven't seen him today. Brandon Johnson, he's likely on the bubble as well. Yeah. You gotta believe that Tim Patrick, who missed the better part of really the entire last two years. full seasons yeah. was likely on the bubble, but then he scores his first touchdown last week, and the team went wild. And Sean told us it, it just changes emotionally how you think about the construction of your team. And so many guys were so happy to see Tim back, Patrick back. Now, he's one of those great possession receiver guys, led the league two years or now three years ago in third down conversion mm -hmm. receptions. So you know there's a value to him, but they spent a lot of draft and free agency equity bringing in Blazers. They're, these guys are big and fast, and Sean loves those guys. Oh, you think about the wide receiver room. Cortland Sutton's a lock. Mm -hmm. Tim Patrick probably going to make it. Josh Reynolds, they signed him in the offseason. He's going to make it. All right, well, then, Marvin then, Mims. Marvin Mims is definitely on the team. That's four. Troy Franklin, who they drafted. Franklin was a fourth-round 